Hi there, I'm Darren Williams from Python Bytes, and this is the second tutorial on uh, WH Python sizes, and I'm using WH Form Builder. Uh, the first tutorial on sizes, I showed how to create a frame template, which will be a frame, a box sizer, and then you have what's called a sizer item, where you attach a panel. Then you add another box sizer and you have a sizer item. So now you have the framework here, you could say, uh, where we can start building a GUI. Now I prefer, well, I have learned not to put any widgets into this main sizer item. I will show you why I don't do that. For instance, I might want to add a button. So I'm not going to put it, change any of the settings for that. And then I want a static text and then a text and, and maybe another static text and a text box or text control and a button. Now, as you notice, it's putting everything underneath. And there's no way of designing the GUI where I could have the label. I'll put that label up where I go. I think it's, just have a look here, move up, alt up. So that's alt, the uh, arrow key up. So I've moved that up and I want the button to go down. So that's the alt key and the arrow down. Okay, so I would prefer to have a label, then a text control, and then a button, then another label, another text control, and a button. But you can't do that because you have this uh, size or, or size or item. I'll just go in XRC, the XRC code. So we have. Just looking for it here. So we got the panel. There's the panel. We have a box sizer. Box sizer. We got sizer item. There's a size item. And then everything under here. And that is a static text size item. That's the text control. Sizer item. Item the button. Okay. So it's do it's placing these widgets directly underneath. The reason why is when I click the box, uh, the sizer item, even though it does show as a box sizer, it is actually a sizer item. And then every widget that's added is added with a sizer item, which is attached to this box sizer here. I hope you understand that. But anyway, it's no good because I want these to be placed horizontally. So I don't put widgets directly in this size item, which is part of the box size or attached to the panel. Okay, so what I do is I go over here to uh, the sizes. It's a box sizer, which is just have a look at that, the last item. That's a box sizer that is attached to this box sizer sizer item. Okay, so that is now box sizer, which means I will then add items into this. Now, if I, I'll just cut this and paste that in there and cut that one, the text control, and place that in there. And then I take the button out there, cut that, and place that in there. Now look in the design, I got the same problem. They're directly under each other. Now if I go here, you'll notice the orient, orientation is vertical. So if I go horizontal, Okay, so it is now going horizontally. Now, 
the proportion is 1. So you notice that the red square the red square goes from underneath here which is underneath this button and it covers the whole frame below that button. So what I tend to do when making forms so, uh, like this I'll go 0 I don't want any expand so now it's just this one line here I'll go all for the borders and take out the expand I have no border at all for a sizer and the only border that I would use is static text I make that an 8 text control is a 5 and a button is a 5 yep that's fine so that's fine now you might think okay that's good now if I were to place this one I'll cut that and I'll place that there it doesn't go underneath it goes on the end okay so we we'll put another box sizer in. You notice it's vertical, and I'll cut that one out, and I'll place that static text in there. And there we go. Now we've got the same problem. It's covering that whole area. We want it to be just one row. So we go down here, down here. Proportion is zero and the border is zero. I use, what I do is I'll do the border on the widgets but not the sizes. Uh, if it's a flex grid sizer or a static text sizer then I will put a border around it. But at the moment we're just working with box sizes. So we have the label in there and then I'll add the text control, I'll cut that and paste it. Now you notice we get the same problem so I'll get the button, cut that and then I'll paste it. So the way we fix this was we change that to horizontal okay so we go here and we'll change this to horizontal. Here We'll go name, that's the label name, and then we go on this one here, and we'll go address. And you notice they're not aligned. Okay, that's why you would use a flex grid sizer. Okay, so these two are horizontal, uh, but what I tend to do. Uh, because down the track these two might actually split so what I do is I'll add a box sizer to the main one and I will make that vertical and then I'll cut this and I'll make this horizontal so you don't run the risk of it splitting and then you add another one and then cut this one I hope this is helping uh, but this is how I design uh, GUIs. Now, you notice this gap here. So we put in a new box sizer here, and the proportion is zero. It's got a border. We don't want a border. Uh, we don't want this one to expand. So no border, no expand. And just put all. Okay. So now you click this one, and this one goes from here and all the way down. So once again, it goes zero, zero, untick, expand, and just go all, and there you go. So if that's uh, vertical, you put a vertical and then a horizontal, and then the next row, the next row is vertical which goes directly underneath and then this one here is horizontal so that your widgets are going horizontally 
okay so I hope that has been helpful uh, in designing GUIs and when you're placing widgets onto your main uh, sizer which is actually a size item I don't add widgets directly to this one but I do attach box sizes with the widgets uh, to control the design okay so I'll leave the tutorial at that uh, if you have any questions or comments in relation to this tutorial uh, please leave a comment below the video on YouTube and yes if you have any questions please ask I'm, I'm, I'll be so happy to explain uh, explain or help you understand uh, sizes WX Python sizes because it does take a while to understand it so Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Till the next tutorial, goodbye.